Hey, I'm Yotam, the CEO of Imagine AI. In this video, I want to share with you what Imagine AI Talents is and how simple it is to adjust it to your unique editing style. All right, let's jump right into it. A little side note here. I used warm skin tones for this video, but this would work for any other style from our gallery. I have this set of raw images. I applied the warm skin tones profile for all of them but I wanted to have it a bit colder, add some contrast and apply tone mapping to get to this result. This result was achieved without adjusting each and every image. I only did it once for the entire project. After your edit is ready, simply open Lightroom and you will find all the updated previews with the photo edits. Assuming that you like this style, but still prefer it a bit colder and with even less magenta cast, what you'll need to do is select all images, go to library mode, click on the filter arrows like this. The advantage of using Imagine AI first is that all of the images are now in a consistent style and when I do that, all the images change relatively to their current edit. In the same way, you can tweak all of the other filters in the basic panels. For example, I want to add more contrast. Each photo's contrast would increase by the same amount relatively to that photo's original contrast value. Now, let's say that I want to apply some tone mapping to the entire project. First, I will click on Auto Sync in Develop Mode and tweak the tone mapping a bit. You can do the same for HSL, color grading, camera calibration, etc. Here's another extra tip for you. You can also create a preset of your own based on the tweaks you've just made and have them ready uh, for you to go whenever you want to use them next time. You need to click here, create a new preset and select only the relevant settings for your new preset. In this case, as you can see, I only used tone mapping. That's it. You can now have a full gallery that's almost ready to be delivered to your clients, all edited with your unique editing style. As a final step, I will now go over the images in library mode and apply minimal tweaks to the images, only for those I don't find perfect. We hope you'll enjoy Imagine AI and look forward to hearing your feedback.